People have always found ways to communicate and invent. Now, digital technology is pushing that process forward, faster than ever before. The gadgets in our pockets are getting smarter and more powerful as microchips get cheaper. In fact, these chips are getting so cheap that we can put them into all sorts of things. Things we hadn't thought of putting chips into before. That means ordinary, everyday items are changing, becoming smarter and connected to the world around them. Since February 2011, AT&T have had more machine subscribers than human ones. That's things like home appliances, car tracking systems and machines in factories. By 2020, there could be as many as 50 billion smart devices connected to the internet. As these connected devices become more widespread, they can help us keep fit and stay healthy, make our environment safer and more efficient, and use limited resources in the most efficient way. So as people come to rely more on all this interconnected technology, the more we might start seeing frustration and confusion in unexpected places. So what can we do to plan ahead? There are many challenges to overcome. For example, we need to make sure it's easy to connect everything together and keep it working. Most people don't want to become technical experts. As this technology reaches further into our lives, we need to be sure people feel in control of the devices and services around them. Not the other way round. Once these things become interconnected, we need to be able to move between them in a fluid way. We call this interusability. Finally, we need a better understanding of how to design for this interconnected world. The SmartCos project, involving 17 partners from across Europe, has been set up to look for solutions to these challenges. For more information or to get in touch, you can find us on the web here.